Those comments echo Cleveland Fed President Loretta Mester, who said markets are a bit ahead of themselves in their rate cut expectations. Joining us now, former Kansas City Fed President Thomas Honig. Great to have you back on the show. Uh, we have seen... I, we have seen a little bit of divergence in terms of some of the Fed speak uh, since that decision last week. But, but overall, I would say most of the officials that have come out have really kind of pushed back on how aggressively the market is pricing and cuts next year. How do you see it? Well, I think the, the market is um, reading a lot into, the, into those um, projected three cuts. At the same time, though, I think the market is also listening to what the what the chairman said and what has been the speeches otherwise. For example, even though the economy has been strong, rates have been high enough and inflation's come down to the 4% um, core and 3% total, and they're saying lagged effects should take, take, uh, take it from here. Uh, so they're feeling more comfortable in terms of their projections for rate decreases. And then banking industry is still vulnerable, and they know that. So... If you keep them high too long, they're afraid they'll trigger another banking problem. So you, you want to be thinking ahead to, to lower rates. And finally, they have the government debt coming at them, and, and that'll be more pressure for lower rates. So there's a lot of momentum uh, out there for rate cuts, uh, and, the, and the Fed is um, not as aggressive as a market, but in, in terms of saying, yep, we're going to cut, no more rate increases, that puts a big signal to the market. Uh, a little bit, of, The market's a little bit ahead of itself. But not that much. And finally, I would say um, the Fed's willing to take on some risk. That is the risk of putting this out there, reigniting inflation if they get a little bit ahead of themselves. Uh, but they're willing to do that to uh, make sure they don't have another banking crisis and a, and, a, and a real recession. They want that soft landing mm. quite a bit. That's yeah. What they're saying. And, and, and time certainly seems to be of the essence if the Fed is actually going to realize a soft landing here. Is that the way to see it, um, that, that timing really matters and that this moment of prospective Fed pivot uh, helps, to, helps to drive that narrative home, potentially based on the data we've seen so far into 2024? Yeah, I think, I think the Fed is time sensitive. They know they can't get behind the curve too long and trigger a recession. And, and that's really on their mind, especially given the vulnerability in the banks. But I think the other part of this is they are willing to take the risk that they ease too soon uh, to avoid that recession. Uh, and if they do that, take on that risk. And if it, it and if they if it happens and they reignite inflation, then they'll have to start over. So they're, that's why they're pushing back this week. They don't want to get that much ahead of the of the. They don't want the market to get that much ahead of them to where they can't uh, keep control of their rates where they are until they're even more confident that inflation is coming down without a recession. So, Thomas, where, where does that even more confident come from? Just give me a scenario, maybe data-wise. How long do you think the Fed waits for the lag the Feds to do the rest of the job? I think if they see, if they see inflation, uh, total inflation, or let's say total inflation below 2.5 or core below uh, three, and uh, excuse me, yeah, below three, closer to two and a half, on a CPI basis, I think they'll feel confident that they've got enough lag effect going on so that they can begin to moderate uh, their interest rate stand, that is from its current level down uh, the, the 50 to 100 basis points over the next six months. They would do that. If, if they see in the December numbers when they come out in January or the, in the February numbers when they come out, they... The, the inflation coming down, they'll be, they'll begin to cut, and whether it's three or six, who knows? But they will certainly begin to cut at that point. All right, we'll see if hopes stay higher for longer, just like <laughs> rates. Thomas Honig, thank you.